Hello. Hello, hello, my sweet, sweet yoga to go loves. Thank you guys so much for starting your 2019 with me. I cannot tell you how honored and appreciative I feel to have you here with me with our very first practice of 2019. Joda is also super pumped to jump back into the yoga bandwagon after the holidays. So thank you, thank you so much for being here. This class today, I am calling to begin again. And that is because I love any time we have the opportunity to start fresh, to examine where we are and take conscious steps to move forward. Anytime we can give ourselves that reset or renewal that we need. And I like to find it all the time in everyday life, whether it's every Monday, every new moon, every shower, whatever it is, I can offer myself that chance to begin again. So that's going to be our sort of thematic journey through class today. We're going to start with a nice easy meditation. We'll build up through some stretch and some flow. We'll find our way back down to the mat for some restorative postures and a good juicy juicy vinyasa. If you're joining me live, thank you so much for being here. If you are watching later in the day, later in the week, the month, the year, whenever it is that you need a little reset. I'm so, so happy to have you here for that as well. To get rolling, take a nice, easy seat. So in yoga, our easy seated pose is called Sukhasana. It is just a regular old crisscross applesauce or Indian style. If this isn't comfortable for you, if it hurts your knees or hurts your hips, don't do it. You are more than welcome to stretch one leg out nice and long or stretch both legs out nice and long. Sometimes giving yourself that space can be a little kinder on our hip flexors. You're also welcome to join me in propping up on a blanket, a pillow, a block, a bolster, whatever it is that you have handy. If we give a little lift in our hips, that can help release those upper quads and hip flexors as well as through our knees. So do whatever it is that you need to do to get settled and steady on your mat. Try to remove yourself from any distractions and just give yourself a little space. Do you like how, as I say, remove yourself from any distractions? This dumb kitten thinks it's time to eat my sweater. So sorry about that. <laughs> Good. Once you settle down in your low body, we're going to stack shoulders over hips and give just a little draw upward through our center, our belly button. We engage those deep and low abdominal muscles to help support our low spine so that we can find lots of strength and lots of support as we sit up tall. If you like, you can give yourself a couple shoulder rolls up, back and down. Go ahead and take one more all the way up by your ears, then draw them together and down. When you're ready, you can let your eyes close. Offer yourself a big deep breath in through your nose and a cleansing sigh out. We'll take two more just like that. Big full breath in. Exhale to release. And again, we'll start to find our breath in and out through our nose. And begin to release the weight of your legs. See if you can relax that inner and outer thigh. If you can relax behind your knees, down your shins, a 
across the tops and bottoms of your feet and between your toes. And do the same through your arms, letting shoulder blades relax down. Elbows hang nice and heavy at your sides. And your palms or your wrists can rest on your thighs, either facing the ceiling or facing the earth. Or you can take what we refer to as our contemplation mudra by making a little bowl in your lap. Stacking your right hand on top of left, both palms facing upward, and your thumbs coming to touch gently so you form a circle through your fingertips. You can relax your throat and your jaw. Maybe even swallow once or twice. Take that physical cue to release those muscles. And then try to soften the skin around your eyes and behind your ears, and all the way across your forehead. If you like, you can begin to imagine your spine like a tree, so that your sits bones and your tailbone are your roots. Pressing into the floor and into the earth, drawing down. And the length of your spine, your vertebrae, acting like a tree trunk. Stacking up nice and tall, strong and steady. So that the tip top of your head your ears, the leaves and branches of that tree can grow towards the sun. So just like a tree, we have that dueling energy, that rooting to rise. So we create a solid, strong foundation in order to grow taller up and out. Feel that pride across your heart. And we'll start to allow ourselves to find a little freedom in our minds. Noticing any thoughts or feelings or holding on to anything that's particularly nagging today, seems to be spiraling out of control. You gave yourself permission to release, to let go of any of those thoughts or feelings that aren't serving this moment, aren't beneficial to this practice, this round of breath. And then begin to bring your attention and your awareness even more in tune to your breath. Letting your belly, your lower ribs expand wide in all four directions as you inhale. So front and back, side to side, opening up like you were blowing up a balloon. And exhale, draws those belly muscles in and up and drops your shoulders away from your ears. So our inhale opens us up, spreading us out, thinking of that inhale as coming wide and big. And our exhale brings us back to center, back to our midline and to our heart. Give yourself a few more rounds of breath, just like that, in and out. Up and down. And back and forth.
going to take five more full breaths right here. Take one more. On your next inhale breath, stretch your arms up overhead, fingertips tall. And exhale is going to bring palms to touch and hands to your heart. Plug your thumbs into your sternum. Press palm into palm. Feel that connection, that pressure, that warmth. Drop your shoulder blades down your back. And then let your chin bow forward to your chest. Bringing your head to your heart. Noticing that nice long stretch down the back of your neck. And if you like, you can set a mantra or an intention. If you're the resolution or goal setting type at the new year, perhaps our intentions based off of one of those goals or resolutions you've set for yourself. Or maybe it's more specific just to this practice, this day. And maybe if you're not sure, instead of setting a particular intention, you ask the question, what is it I need moving forward? Where are my next steps leading? How can I create positive change or positive impact? And you allow that question to become your repetition or your mantra. And if nothing's coming to you today, just enjoy this nice, beautiful stretch down the back of your neck. If you like, you can interlace your fingers, bring your palms to the back of your head. Let your elbows drop forward, deepening that stretch. Maybe even gently shaking your head no. Maybe we find that our mantra or our intention today is the same as our class, simply to begin again. To restart. And take one more breath right here. And bring your chin back to your chest. Drop your hands. Lift your face. Take a couple blinks. Open your eyes. Maybe a couple more shoulder rolls up back and down. From here, we're going to let our right ear drop to right shoulder. If you want to add a little more energy or a little more stretch, let your left fingertips kiss the mat, reaching down at your side. If you still want to go even further, that right hand's going to rest right by your ear. Just adding a little extra weight, not pulling or tugging. Just giving a little more energy for gravity to latch on to. Take one more big breath right here. And then we'll let that go, drawing our head through center and to the opposite side, over to the left. Again, maybe those right fingertips stretch down to the floor. Maybe our left hand adds in. If you're like me today, you might be noticing a big difference from side to side. 
one feeling a little more open and spacious, maybe one feeling a little more uncomfortable or painful. And that's okay, just meet yourself right where you are. Honor and appreciate each of those sensations, whatever they may be. Good, we'll draw ourselves back up through the midline. We're gonna bring our hands behind us. You can either hold your own hand or cross your arms behind you, bring opposite palm to opposite elbow. Let those shoulder blades drop down and back and start to reach your chin for the sky. We take this action to counter a lot of that daily posture we end up with, whether we're driving or on a computer or scrolling our phones. We've got kiddos or laundry baskets on our hips or we're cooking over a stove. We have a lot of forward action and mobility in our shoulders and our chest. So a good, easy peasy thing to do to help reverse that is to cross those arms behind you. Spread your collarbones apart and lift your chin. Give yourself one more big breath. Nice and easy, we'll let that go. We're gonna come off of whatever prop we might be sitting on and find our way towards a tabletop or an all fours position. So bring palms under shoulders, knees under hips, I want you to press down with your toenails and grip down with your fingertips like you were climbing a mountain. And really think about finding this base and even just what this base feels like today. So our belly button is going to draw up towards our spine. We're going to try and erase any wrinkles at the back of our neck. So pull your ears out of your shoulders. Let your nose point straight down. Give yourself a great big round of breath right here, inhaling, filling up your ribs wide side to side like an accordion. Exhale, draw back to center. Good, on our inhale, we're gonna lower our belly, lift our tail, lift face and chin, and then exhale, round your spine, scoop it under, look to your belly button. Find a few rounds on your own just like that. Inhale to open. Exhale, spine to ceiling. Really begin to connect that breath to your body and your mind to the two. So we really start to tune in and focus in on our body, how it feels, how it moves. And the same with our breath, if we can assign it a quality, an adjective. Give me two more. After that, we'll come right back to center, strong in our midline again. Again, belly button hugs up to your back. Create some space across your shoulder blades and spiral your elbow creases to the front edge of your mat. That's going to help you create a little more space in those shoulders. See if you can maintain this upper body alignment as we tuck our toes, bend our knees deep, and draw our tailbone to the sky. Now your ear can hang right between your arms. We can shake our head yes and no. You can give a little pedal to your knees, bending and flexing one leg at a time. Really take a couple moments here again to examine how you feel. So the thing about beginning is that we have to understand where we're starting from. We have to really be aware of where we're at so that we can find those ways to move forward and we can know how and why to move forward. So take this time, examine your body, examine your breath, examine your mind and your heart and really, really take in 
our starting point so that we can move forward down our path. Give yourself one more big breath in this down dog. On our inhale, we're gonna lift our heels, roll up and over our toes back to our tabletop. And then on our exhale, we're gonna shoot our hips back to our heels, finding an active child's pose. So gripping down with your fingertips, elbows stay lifted, forehead can drop down. Our next inhale breath is going to draw us back through that table. And exhale will bring us back to downward dog. So repeating these three postures on our breath, inhale rolls up and over those toes. Exhale sits us back, hips sink to the earth. Inhale brings us back to a tabletop. Exhale takes us back to our down dog. Good. Give me two more. Inhale. Exhale. Shoot it back. Arms stay strong. Inhale. Bring it forward. Exhale. Maintain that integrity in your shoulders as your hips draw high. Last round. Inhale. Strong through table. Exhale. Bring it back. Inhale back through the midline and exhale into your down dog. Perfect. Inhale breath. We're going to bring it back to that tabletop. We're going to extend our right leg straight and strong back like an arrow. Keep your belly button hugged up, your hips centered. And we're going to take our opposite arm forward. So left arm reaches straight ahead, thumb to the sky. Toes pointing down to the mat. Find that stability. Each part of your body that's touching the mat starts to resist it, pushing it away. Take a big breath in. And exhale, lower it down. Good. Left leg extends long behind us. That foot flexes. Toes point straight down. Belly button draws up. And our right arm stretches forward. Again, keep your nose pointing down to the mat. Find that link at the back of your neck. And give it five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Perfect. We're going to walk our palms forward about a handprint. And find the top of a plank or a push-up. Again, we're drawing up, resisting the earth. Spreading those shoulder blades wide for a big full inhale. And on our exhale, elbows are going to tuck tight as we lower down. Keep those elbows snuggled in and pointing high to the sky like a grasshopper. Press into your toenails. And then lift your heart, chest and chin up for baby cobra. Find that length from the tip top of your head to that lumbar spine right at your bottom ribs. Give a big full breath in, and exhale to lower. We're going to take that two more times. Inhale to reach. Exhale down. Inhale to reach. Exhale down. Scoot your palms back by your belly button. Press the earth away. Find the top of your cobra pose. Shoulders stack over wrist. Again, toenails press into the earth. Keep a little baby bend in your elbows and draw your collarbones wide across your chest. If it feels good in your neck, you can start to lift your chin. Find the big full breath in. Exhale, elbows tight as we lower back to our bellies. Good, we're gonna take that two more times. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. So like you're doing a cobra push-up. Last one, inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Good. We're going to press up one more time into that cobra. And then move through our tabletop and back to a child's pose. Arms stay nice and engaged and strong. Elbows up off the floor. Feel that long stretch under your armpits and between your shoulder blades. Give yourself one big breath. On our inhale, we're going to draw ourselves through our tabletop. Exhale is going to bring us back to that down dog. 
And then on your inhale breath, walk your palms back to your feet and lay in a forward fold. We'll hang out here a couple breaths as well. You can let your knees pedal out. You can shake your head. You can cross your arms and let your upper body sway. Whatever feels good for two more breaths. And then when you're ready, drop your palms, bend your knees, tuck your tail, and roll on up to standing. Good. Loosen it out. Shake it out however you need. And we're going to find our mountain pose. So feet come under your hips. Hips come under your shoulders. Shoulders right, framing your head to make that perfect triangle from point to point. Inhale is going to draw us up tall, arms high. And exhale, take hands to your heart. Good. Give me two more. Inhale to lift. Exhale to center. Last one. Inhale, reaches us up. Exhale, brings hands to your heart. We'll take a standing vinyasa here. Inhale, bringing us up nice and tall. Exhale, lets us forward fold down to our toes. On our inhale, place palms on your shins and lift up halfway. We're trying to find a flat back. That same energy we found in tabletop, we're finding here. So your hands can come to your thighs or your shins, but that belly button stays pulled up tight. Shoulders stay out of our ears. We get lots of space in our throat and our neck. Take a big breath in and exhale to forward fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up to standing, arms high. And exhale, take hands to your heart. Good. Take two more just like that. Inhale, tall. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen halfway. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Exhale, take hands to your heart. Good. Last one. Inhale to reach. Exhale, swan, dive it forward. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, rise up, arms pull up overhead. And exhale, take hands to your heart. Good, inhale, we're gonna stretch it up, arms pull up overhead. And then see if you can get your palms to touch, your fingers to interlace, and your pointer finger to shoot to the sky like a Charlie's Angels gun. Try to drop your shoulders out of your ears and then super glue your biceps to your ears. Go ahead and just feel this fire. This might be plenty already, that engagement in shoulders and forearms. As you're ready, we're gonna take a deep breath in, see if you can lift with your rib cage and exhale, tip to the right. Try to keep your head in that nice line centered between biceps. And bring it back to center. Good. Inhale into your ribs. Exhale to the left. So right now we're shifting just from our waistline. Hips are staying in that line, square. We're only tick-tocking from our upper body. Use your inhale to bring it back. This time we're going to let that tick-tock happen at our hip line. So inhale, breath, lift it up. Exhale, start to tip and shift your hips to the left and your fingers to the right. So we make more of a crescent curve with our belly. Good. Bring it back to the middle. Take that deep breath in and let your hips sway to the right as your fingertips draw to the left. Good. Bring it back in. Exhale, take hands to your heart. Perfect. Now from the back of our mat, we're going to add on a little further. So inhale is going to stretch us tall. Exhale, let's us forward fold. Inhale, lift it halfway, flat spine. And then on your exhale, we're going to walk our palms forward. Find the top of a plank or a push-up. Your knees can stay lifted or they can drop to the mat. We want that same engagement from tailbone to crown. Take a big full inhale right here. And exhale, we're gonna shift our weight forward as we lower down. 
Inhale, we'll press the mat away. You can take that baby cobra or scoot your palms back into a full cobra. Give yourself a nice big breath in. And exhale, send your hips to your heels in the child's pose. Inhale, brings it forward through tabletop. And exhale, takes us back to our downward facing dog. Toes are going to come in a little tighter to center. And just like we did from tabletop, that right heel is going to come high to the sky. Try to keep your right toes pointing down to the mat. Notice that length and that strength and that line from wrist to heel. And try to keep your weight centered from right and left side in your palms. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, we're going to curl our knee to our nose. Gently start to pull your weight forward towards a plank and set those toes down right between your thumbs. If that wasn't accessible, just scoot your toes a little bit forward. Back knee and heel are going to stay lifted up. We're going to use our inhale breath to rise up to a crescent lunge. So wrists come over shoulders, come over hips. Ribs pull back into that line. Front knee can bend a little or a lot, but back leg is straight and strong. Give yourself one more big full breath right here. We're going to add what we call a Go Mukasana arm. So you're going to take your left hand, bring it to your shirt tag. Your right hand is going to come down and around and try to meet your fingertips behind you. If that's not there for you today, grab a strap, grab your shirt, whatever it is that you can latch on to. See if you can sink those hips an inch or two lower. Take two big breaths. And we're gonna unwind our arms. They stretch up tall and find a twist. So left palm's gonna come down to the floor. Right fingertips stretch high to the sky. Try to make a straight line from wrist to wrist. Maybe sink those hips down. If you feel good about your balance, look up to your top thumb. See if you can maintain that twist as we lower back knee down to the mat. Untuck that toe and let hips sink forward and down into a low lunge. Give me three big breaths. Keeping our legs where they are, let your fingertips point to that back leg. And you can stay just like this, or if you want a little deeper stretch, bend your back knee. Maybe catch your toes. That's not there for you today. I think you promise you are still getting plenty of what you need from this practice, even if you can't reach your toes in a twisted lunge. Take one more breath. Good, we're gonna let that go. Unwind, fingertips are gonna come to either side of that front leg and shift your hips backwards. So this front knee starts to straighten these toes start to flex towards the sky. Take your pointer finger, hook that right hip, and draw it back just a little bit. Think about lengthening the tip top of your head to your toes. And give me two more breaths. Good. On our inhale, we're going to come back to that low lunge. We're going to tuck our back toe, lift our back knee, find our way into that high lunge. Inhale is going to draw us up overhead. We're going to find an airplane balance or a warrior three. So hands are going to come to your heart. You can press your thumbs into your sternum. Find a focal point, something that's not moving a couple feet on the floor in front of your big toe. 
and gently start to tap your way forward. I don't know what got into that gap just now, sorry. When you're ready, straighten this standing leg as you hinge over, making a T with your body. Now if this back toe needs to stay on the mat, that's totally fine. If it can come up to that 90 degree angle, that's awesome too. Hands can stay at your heart or they can open wide like a T, or they can stretch up overhead into warrior three arms. We're gonna hold five, four, three, two, one, drop it back into that crescent lunge. Good, good, take a deep breath in. Exhale is gonna lower palms down to the floor and step it back to a downward facing dog. Give yourself a big round of breath right here, loosen it out. And then walk your palms back to meet your feet and land in a fold. Inhale is going to lift us halfway, flat spine. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, come all the way up to standing arms high. Exhale, take hands to your heart. Good. We're going to bring our feet about as wide as the mat. Keep your toes pointing forward and your knees pointing forward. Interlace your fingers behind you, stretch your knuckles down, and then take a great big forward fold. If you want it, those arms can follow you, pulling up and over your ears. Keep a little softness in your knees and make sure you can shake your head yes and no. The closer we get our palms to touching, the deeper this stretch is going to be. If it's too much, you can hook your thumbs, open your fingertips out wide, or keep your thumbs resting on your low back. Now take two more breaths wherever you are. And then use your inhale to draw back to standing. Exhale to let those arms go, shake them out. Good, feet are gonna come back to center. We're gonna take all of those lunges on our opposite side, so inhale is gonna stretch us up. Exhale, let's us forward fold. Inhale to lengthen halfway. Exhale, we're going to walk our palms forward, find the top of that plank or push-up. Really resist the earth, press it away, draw your belly button to the ceiling, take a deep breath in, and then on or off your knees, we'll lower down, and inhale, we'll press us into baby cobra or full cobra, nice and strong across your heart, lifting that belly button up off the floor and pulling your chin away from your chest. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring hips to heels into a child's pose. Inhale, we'll move it back through our tabletop. And exhale, brings us to a down dog. Toes are gonna walk in a little tighter. And then our left heel is gonna draw high to the sky. Those toes point down to the mat. Find that long line from wrist to heel. Try to keep your ribs and belly centered. Keep your weight centered right to left. Give yourself a big full inhale, and exhale, bring your toes up between your thumbs. Back knee inhale, stay lifted, we'll rise up, crescent lunge. Good, relax your shoulders out of your ears, draw your ribs back in line with your belly, sink your hips down. And again, we're going to find those Go Mukhasana arms, so right hand comes up and overhead, left hand comes down and around, maybe our fingertips meet. Feel that proud, proud stretch, that deep tricep. Give it one more big breath. And then we'll release those arms and find our twist. So right palm's gonna come down, left fingertips reach up, Draw your shoulders in line, your wrists in line. Maybe look up to that top thumb. Maybe sink your hips in. Give it three big breaths. We're 
We're gonna keep our twist as we lower our back knee. Untuck our toe, let those hips sink down and forward. Find three more breaths right here. Good, our top fingertips are gonna stretch back to the back of the room and maybe our knee bends, we grab those toes. Again, if it's not right today, who cares? Do what you can, meet yourself right where you are. And know that moving forward, you'll have the tools to get there. When you're ready, we'll let that go. Fingertips frame your front foot and our hips stretch backwards as that front knee straightens out. It's our Adha Anamunasana, our half splits pose, half monkey god pose. Honor of that beautiful, beautiful god Anuman. Belly lengthens out over our ribs. Toes draw back towards your face. Give yourself lots of space in this hamstring stretch. Good, we'll shift our weight back forward into our low lunge. Tuck your toes, lift your back knee, find your high runner's lunge. And inhale is going to bring us up into crescent. You know, from here we're coming for that balance. So hands come to your heart. Find your drishti, your focal point. Start to tap your weight forward. And then hinge at your hips, making that T shape with your body. Give a little flex to your foot, toes pointing straight down, just like we've been doing. And hands can stay at your heart. They can come wide, they can come long. Wherever's right for you for five, four, three, two, one. Tap it back into your crescent lunge. And then forward fold, step it back to your downward dog. From here, we're gonna lower our knees down to the mat and take your knees as wide as the mat, toes coming together. Hips sink to your heels. We'll find that nice wide-legged child's pose so your belly can drop down the middle. Elbows, forehead, relax down to the earth. If this isn't quite comfortable or quite accessible, you can take a blanket, a pillow, set that right between your legs so you've got something to land on. really think about feeling that breath in your back body. So we spend a lot of our time and energy focusing our breath forward, our chest, our diaphragm, but we need to remember that our lungs and our diaphragm and our ribs go all the way around. They wrap 360 degrees around our body. So we can breathe into our sides, into our back just as well. So really allow yourself to find that in this posture, breathing in that space in your back ribs, your shoulders, all the way down to your sacral joint. And give it three more breaths. And on our next inhale, we're gonna sit back up nice and easy. Scooch any props you've got out of the way. Kick your feet to the side and find the seat. We're gonna come all the way down to our spines. Can add your knees into your chest nice and tight. You can rock side to side or forward and back. Maybe draw little circles on the sky with your kneecaps. We're gonna find the pigeon stretch right here. So we're gonna bring soles of the feet down to the mat. Let your right ankle cross your left knee and then open that right knee wide so you make a triangle. From here, we're gonna thread the needle and interlace your fingers behind your left thigh. So we're gonna gently draw our shin bone towards our chest. Keep a good strong flex in both feet 
And moving with our breath, we're going to extend our left heel to the ceiling. And then draw that left heel back to your booty on your exhale. So again, moving with those inhales and exhales, we'll lift it up and bring it back in. Good. Take just a few more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Give me two more. Inhale. And exhale. Big breath in. And out. Perfect. You can stay just like this. Or even bring your fingertips on top of that left shin to deepen the stretch. We'll take a few breaths right here. Try to let shoulders and head relax down on the mat. Release that grasp with your hands. Unwind your legs. Take your knees as wide as the mat and your feet as wide as the mat and find some gentle windshield wiper twists. Letting your knees drop side to side. Loosening that inner and outer hip joint, pelvic joint. And rocking and rolling on your sacrum and tailbone just a little bit. We'll find our opposite side. Coming back to center. This time left ankle crosses over right knee and opens wide. We'll thread the needle behind that right thigh and gently draw your shin to your chest. Flex both feet and use your inhale to send right heel to the ceiling. Exhale brings it back to your booty. Good, a few more just like that. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, few more. Last one. And again, you can stay like this. Move your grip to the top of your shin. Give yourself those extra couple inches of stretch, of release. Try to relax your belly, your abdominals here. Just find that nice deep stretch in your outer hip. Give it one more breath. And gently we'll let that go. We're going to come to a happy baby pose. So knees bend. Come as wide as your armpits. Heels to the ceiling. And you can hold behind your thighs and draw down. Or hold at your outer foot and draw down. Give yourself any wiggles you might want here. Releasing that low back, releasing hamstrings and pelvic floor. If you like, you can gently try to press your tailbone to the mat. So instead of letting your booty roll up to the ceiling with your feet, try to feel the full length of the spine on the floor and then keep that whole sole of the foot pressing to the sky. You'll notice a deeper stretch. Lots of action happening here now for one more breath. Good, we'll let that go. Draw both knees in nice and tight. And then release everything down to the floor into your Shavasana. You can scoot yourself however you need on your mat. Feel free to allow your limbs to come off of your mat. Spreading nice and wide, fingers and feet. Falling open to the sky. 
Let your hips and shoulders come steady to the earth and then let your eyes close down. Maybe take a moment to notice just how your body feels now. Again, notice how your breath flows. Notice where your mind's at. And see if you can remember where you started, where we were just 50 short minutes ago. Notice any differences, any similarities. Maybe come back to your mantra or your intention if you set one. Come back to any questions you might have asked. And then allow even those thoughts to quiet down. Allow the sound of your own breath to wash away any of those nagging to-do list items, wondering what time it is, wondering what your next meal will be. Until all that's left is your body your breath, your heartbeat. You're welcome to stay right here in the Shavasana for as long as you need, as long as you have. Or if you like, you can begin to deepen your breath. Maybe bring little wiggles to your fingers and your toes. Maybe your arms reach up overhead, finding a nice full body stretch. If it feels good, you can draw your knees towards your chest one at a time. Maybe even roll to one side, finding a fetal position. 
taking a couple blinks, a couple breaths. And finding your own way, at your own pace. And come back up to a seat. Right where we started our practice. Thank you so very much. Again, for joining me in this first video, this first practice of the new year. I'd like to seal our practice with a cleansing and a grateful ohm. You're welcome to join me simply to listen. We'll start with a big full breath in. Thank you.